had his, his hand up, so we'll go to him first, and then we'll come back to you. Mr. Okay, so I need to set the record straight from some misrepresentations made by Mr. McCallop and Mr. DeGrafferty. The email that I sent out had an advertisement about my Tark in the Park event that I'm doing on September 3rd had nothing to do with my response to the district, uh, the Douglas County Central Committee's uh, actions. Underneath it, I, I wrote, and instead of me, everything was true, and instead of me telling you that, and then listening to them say, no, it's not true, I'm just going to read it in the record for you, and you can see what you think. So after I talked about the event, I stated, Douglas County Republican Central Committee expels the Tarkanian traders. This past Thursday, the DCRCC expelled Amy and I from its organization. What was my dastardly deed? On a radio show, I stated the obvious. Michelle Fiore would be a disaster for the Republican Party in the state of Nevada if she was elected treasurer. It is widely reported that the IRS paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in liens against Fiore's businesses because she failed to pay her taxes. She is under FBI investigation for using campaign funds for personal use, and she physically assaulted a fellow city councilwoman, breaking her finger after city council meeting. Her opponent, Zach Conan, gave two impressive presentations to the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, and from all indications had done a good job as a treasurer. I had the nerve to say I would vote for him. It should be noted that I was asked to endorse him, but I declined. DCRCC Chairman Jim McCallop continued the tradition a past chair, Jim DeGrafferty, and lied in his press release. Well, the misrepresentations DeGrafferty made, I made a comment about that before, he got up in front of the Central Committee and he lied about Mark Amday's voting record and lied about me. So now, going on to what I wrote. Um, McCallop uh, lied in his press release about the expulsions. expulsions. Without evidence or factual basis, McCallop claims, I said I would vote for Conan for personal reasons and to appease the elite. That was his press release. He failed to mention what I gained personally by doing so, or who those mysterious elite people are. I'm going to vote for Conan because it is in the best interest of our state, and because Fiore, as a state treasurer for four years, would significantly harm every Republican runner for office for years. I had a note about my wife and something that isn't important. And then I, the final note is this. Every member of the state and county central committees volunteer their time and spend their money to help the organization. The member receives nothing in return. The state party, under the failed leadership of Chairman Mike McDonald and Vice Chairman Jim DeGrafferty, now it's failed leadership because over the past 10 years, Republican parties had their worst showing ever in the history of the state in elections. The state, the, the, under their failed leadership, they have purged the party of any member who doesn't agree with them. Their actions have significantly weakened the Republican Party and has put in peril the red wave Nevada should experience in November. All of it's true, all of it's basis. None of it dealt with my work on the county commission. That being said, I want to plug my event. Jan uh, September 3rd, we're going to have an event honoring the hardworking Douglas County people at Minden Park from 1 to 4. I hope I can see you there. It's all free, too.